Hey, Mitch, it's your show. Okay, welcome one and all, all in one, to Geo Party. Um, tonight, <laughs> our categories are musical idioms to my ears, first names the same, uh, quote round, unquote the world, biznesses, shedding light, and on the subject i have businesses shedding light on the subject Mm -hmm. whoa i have to pause for a second because someone in the comments left a great thing about one of our jeopardy videos about how anyone can understand the host when james hosted because he didn't follow normal sentence structure when he spoke (laughs) <laughs> and then I went to it, and James just ignored commas and periods and, like, added his own pauses in when he wanted. It's literally the most alien thing that I haven't noticed, because that's just how James talks. But, <laughs> but you gotta be so friends funny. with him to get it. Yeah, yeah it was so fair. weird when I actually, like, just listened to it. That's so weird. I'm not surprised at all. But we all just went along with it. Yeah, we, we, yeah. All, we all get him. We all speak his language. Well, yeah. we were all reading the questions a lot. That is true. We, that is also very helpful. <laughs> uh, so, Mitch, who would you like to go first? All right. Uh, let's today, our lucky starter is going to be Nathan. Oh. So, Nathan, oh. which category and how much you want to go for? Can I get musical idioms to my ears for 1,000, please, Alex? <gasps> Spicy. Oh. To make yourself look good, sometimes you have to do this. Sound a brass instrument with a flared bell. Sorry, I don't remember how to how start. Do you, how do you button? How do you... He has to unlock beat. them. He has there's to unlock a buzzer, there's he has a button that says first. buzzer at the bottom. Chain Dreamer there has we it go. Now it's unlocked. I don't see it. Where is yeah, it? I didn't Megan. see it. It should be oh, on your oh, button. Down there. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. You can move it to the center, too, by hitting the move button. Megan, what's um, your Megan, you're out of time. Uh, what is toot? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to give that to you. Okay, that's fair. It's actually right, but he's not going to give it to you. Yes. <laughs> what is toot? Sorry, what? What is toot your own horn? Yes. Nice. Ah, uh, all right. Mm. Um, I did see a time. Oh, it's that red bar, isn't it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Click uh, move. Oh, uh, all there right. we go. Okay. Nathan, it's still yours. Mm, musical idioms for 800, please. All right. Someone who repeats the same thing over and over sounds like one of these, perhaps a scratched 45. Nathan. Uh, what is a record? No. Uh, Tyler, I think. Yeah. What is a broken record? Yes. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, yeah, Tyler. On the subject for 200. On the subject. All right. He's the subject of the biography subtitled The Man, the Genius, and the Theory of Relativity. Nathan. Who is Albert Einstein? Correct. All right. You're up. Musical idioms for 600. Oh, no! 200 is fine. 200. No! If something triggers a strong emotional response, (laughs) it might strike one of these harmonic note combos. Dang. Uh, Who's that? Megan. What is a chord? Yes, Megan. <laughs> it is yours. I'll take uh, the musical idioms to my ears for 600. Just for Nathan. Yeah. Playing this stringed instrument means to take a subordinate role. Nathan. What, what, what is a fiddle? No. What? Megan. What is second fiddle? Yes. Second fiddle. Mm. All right, Megan. Four- 400, same category. To do things your own way and disregard convention is to march to this sound. Oh! Oh! Mm. Uh, Mike. To the beat of your... What is to the beat of your own drum? Yes! All right, Mike! Dude, I love he's so happy when we get it right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mike, it's yours. Uh, First name's the same for 200. For 200. Easy peasy. Singer, pop, and rapper Azalea. Justin. Who is Iggy? Yes. Mm-hmm. Let's keep it All going, right. Alex. All right. Crow and Diaz, he has directed her. Justin. Who is Cameron? Yes. Cameron. Keep it going? Uh, no, let's go around the world for 200, please. All 
All right. Ch huh? Charing Cross and Covent Garden are stops on it. Nathan. What is the British Underground? I'll give it to you. It just says the Underground. Yeah. Underground. Yeah. Yes, oh, that's the, the name of the London uh, tube system. The London Underground, yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, their, their train system. Yeah. Uh, Nathan, or yours? Uh, business for 400. Sure. For 400, you quirky man. I know. In 1901, the Saturday Evening Post ran the first ad of this tire company that featured its trademark Wingfoot. Oh, fuck. Tyler. What is Goodyear? Yes. Nice. Bang. That was one of the two tire companies I knew off the top of my head. <laughs> I, had, I thought it was Firestone, so. Uh, round the world for 400. Winchester, England claims to have this, 18 feet in diameter. Hot. <clears throat> it's a Ferris wheel. Oh. Round, round table. table. Round table. Round table. Um, we need right. more Ferris wheels. Does everyone agree in agreement? No. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Why not? Who, who said no? I did. All right, well, you're the host. You take precedent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, first name's the same for 600. Country singer Lambert and actress Cosgrove. Justin. Who is Miranda? Yes. Dang. Uh, let's do Shedding Light for 200. I want to see what's going on there. Mm hmm. Chemist Georgius Claude passed electricity through inert gases to create this type of lighting and used it in signs. Ty uh, what, is what, is, what is halogen? Wrong. Really? Mike. What, what is neon? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm. Shedding light, 400. Oh, this is Mike's thing. Yeah. A symbol of enlightenment. It, its torch is covered in 24 karat gold and lit by 16 floodlights at night. Justin. Who is the Statue of Liberty? Yes! Oh! Yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's right, go with business, businesses for 200, please. All right. Mm -hmm. This Hesitant company on that, one, I have been. <laughs> that also makes Pine Sol has a popular brand of disinfecting wipes. Justin. Uh, what is Lysol? No. Dang. Dang. Yeah, that's that was going to be my guess. guess. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was my guess too. Ah, you're all dumb. Laura Ross. <laughs> I, wish, I wish the fucking host of Jeopardy would do that. He'd be like, what is it? he goes, you guys are fucking idiots. Anyway, next question. <laughs> All right, Justin. Oh, it's me? Uh, let's do the names the same for 800. Uh, yeah. It's singer Simpson and actress Chastain. Yes, Damn Justin. It. Who is Jessica? Heck, yes. Uh, let's do names the same for 1,000. yes. Actresses Kazan and Sedona. Justin. Who is Zoe? That's Justin. Yes! yes. Yeah. Uh, let's go around the world for 600. All right. September is when thousands of rodeo fans are driven into Northeast Oregon for the annual Pendleton This. Mike. P the Pendleton Rodeo? No. No. I wish it Stampede? was. I don't know. I wish it was. That's what I wanted it to yeah. be, but I knew it wasn't. Round, 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 Round up. up. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right, Justin, still yours. Oh, I hate Great, this round, round the is... world, so let's keep that one burning. Because round's going to be in the answer. Round the world. Mm, yeah, I get it. West of London, the Denham This connects traffic on the A40 and the M40. What the? Mike. Uh, traffic circle, uh, roundabout. Den I'll give it to you. Yeah, it was roundabout. You didn't even phrase like a question. <laughs> oh, God. I'm oh, I'm using did it, did I? the system. <laughs> Oh, I feel I've take, been taken advantage of. All right. You uh, <laughs> Shedding light for 600. Okay. <laughs> this Italian city is known for its glass. Here's a chandelier in the Doge's Palace. Mike. What is Venice? Yes. It is Venice. Whoa. Yeah, I was thinking, hmm. Murano. No, that's a no. That's city a of glass. And that's, yeah. Venice is the city of glass. Yep. I didn't know that. Did you? Yeah, did Murano no one watch the Island where the glass watch, uh, happens, so Venice wouldn't burn down? The uh, uh, Spider-Man: Far From Home, City of Glass. Yeah, I like, did, but I was just... too busy being like, "Yo, I'm 
bored of this shit. Give me Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like sure. I said, I saw it once. <laughs> uh, shedding light 800. This type of powerful lamp found its way into the name of a specialty film division of Fox Studios. Oh, Nathan. What is a spotlight? Searchlight, damn it. Uh, I'm going to give it to you because you said the right answer before the time gave up. I don't know if I'm supposed to Dang, do Dang, that. that's okay. Well, that's, you're he's the host. host. He's you're got powers. Host. He's the host. Yeah. yeah, he makes the rules. All right, uh, Nathan, it's yours. Um, businesses for a thousand. If you need to know the history of this toilet co, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. It was founded in Japan in 1917. <laughs> It's going to be like, what is Toto Toilets? The fuck? Uh, it Toto. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so I should have just believed in myself. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Absolutely. I've never heard of that either. Uh, yeah. This is why I'm not on Real Jeopardy. Yeah. Uh, business for 800. In 2020, this car rental company that offers gold plus rewards said that even if you're 20, you're good to go with no extra fee. So many options. Oh, Mike. What is Enterprise rent a car? Wrong! That yeah. was my guess. So thanks for taking that bullet for me. Probably for some everyone, Mike. American brand. Oh, it Enterprise hurts. is a man. It hurts. <sighs> I just I hate it. Not their name. I'm gonna I'm gonna call Mulligan. That's not their name anymore. It's Herc now. Thank you. Uh -huh. They changed their name. Is that right? Yeah, but yeah, you didn't guess Herc here either. So. No, it's true. And when but did I the wasn't... question come? It was 2020. So it was Jeopardy. You're supposed to answer. I think in the reference to the time frame that the question is asking as well. Yeah, that's fair. Mm. Okay. Uh, uh, let's do business is 600. Yeesh. There's no easy way to tell you. You're in need of one of these chewy mints billed as the Fresh Maker. Oh! Oh, Nathan. That's easy. What is Mentos? Heck yes. Fresh tastes better with Mentos freshness. So oh, here's man. something you should do in your spare time. When you answer a Jeopardy question, just imagine that you say, ask someone, what is Mentos? And they say, yeesh, there's no easy way to tell you. You're in need of one of these chewy mints billed <laughs> as the Fresh Maker. And you're like, are you an alien? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. All right, David, um, board's yours. On on the subject for four hundred, because I forgot what this one was. Me too. This French peasant girl <laughs> was the subject of Tchaikovsky's opera, Nailed The Maid it. of Orleans. I hate it. Ah, Joan I, of Arc. No. I was gonna you say. fools! Trust yourself. You fools. <laughs> You fools! All right, Nathan. Regrettably, oh. the board remains yours. <laughs> I'll take six hundred. All right. On the subject, this philosophical ism is the subject of Sartre's classic "Being and Nothingness." Oh fuck! I'm done with oh, this topic. Oh. Is it just absurdism? It can't just be absurdism. Existentialism. Existentialism. Oh, that's what I feel oh. every fucking day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nathan, once again. Uh, around cool. the world for a thousand, because I'm done with on the subject. Hot spots at the Battle of Gettysburg included Devil's Den, The Peach Orchard, and Little This. Nathan. What is Little Rock? No. Shit. Remember, it has the word round in the answer. Right, 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 right. Like, then I have no idea. Round top. Little, little round, round top. Little round top. Yeah. Sure. That's American history. All right, Nathan. Uh, Still so yours. Mike can get some more money. <laughs> Shedding light for a thousand. Damn! Oh, 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 you can get money here. <laughs> All right. How does this work? He puts in his bid first. Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm fucked. Visit San Antonio, and you can see a big mosaic of the Virgin Mary shaped like one of these prayer candles. Oh. I think uh, I actually know the name of this. I've got nothing. Mm, nope. Nothing? Nope. Ah, is it is votive. It is a votive! God damn it! Trust yeah. yourself! <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't lose any... You, yeah. You wouldn't have lost anything by guessing because you lose it anyways. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. but I, yeah, uh, yeah, but I was super it's unconfident. Uh, I think that you have to press X or we're trapped in votive land. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, Nathan, it is still yours. Christ, it's still me. Uh, 800. John Maynard Keynes put forward his theories on the Keynesian subject in the general theory of employment, interest, and money. Oh. Economics. Wow, just Keynesian that. Keynesian huh? economics. Wow. Just that easy, mm. folks. All right, Nathan, I'm going to choose this for you. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> This was a popular subject for monastery dining halls. Leonardo da Vinci did one of one for Santa Maria del Grazi in Milan. Mike. Uh, what is a mural? No. No, it's something else. It's another name for it. Fuck. Nathan. What is stained glass? No. How about just what is art? A painting. It's not just art. What is a painting? It was the Last Supper. That was the, oh the, I gotta trust oh, myself, man. Specific. Yeah, it was I gotta specific, specific art. Yeah, specific art. Dude, my favorite person in the Last Supper is the guy holding his finger up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, bump it up, Judas. Yeah. Three. I'll coppers. take. I'll take another. All right, Mitch. Okay. Why don't you start the next round? Start double Jeopardy. All right. Let's hope for something movie related. All right. Oh so, no, James is in here. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Chicken uh, nuggets. Okay, so our categories are history, poets and poetry, chicken nuggets, Antarctica, films of the '80s, and dis information. All right, so every answer will have a dis in it. A dis. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's start with uh, Mike, the loser. Uh, I think Nathan's actually the biggest loser right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, is oh, the biggest oh, loser. You go off money. I was just thinking. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> uh, I'm going to ban Fucking Mitch here. <laughs> All right, David. Um, in honor of James, let's go chicken nuggets for 400. All right. After getting hit on the head with an oh acorn, my God. this character warns that the sky is falling. Oh, All right, dang. Justin. Who is, who is Chicken Little? Yes! So, I'm going to tell you guys this, but when I do the next PVG Jeopardy, I'm going to have a, this chicken thing reminds me of it. I was going to have a category that was just cars, but it was only trivia questions about the movie Cars, just to get James hyped. Oh, and then... just him off. <laughs> you should do, do that for all the cat. We need, like, a movie thing, but it has nothing truly to do with movies. Yeah. Uh, let's try films of the 80s. I don't know too many films of the 80s, but maybe I do. Let's find out. All right. I it do. was... Destination Wally World as Clark Griswold and family hit the road in National Lampoon's This. Uh, Nathan. Fuck you, Nathan. This is vacation? Yes. All right. Or is yours? Um, films of the 80s for 800. 1987 and 1989 saw this movie and its first sequel featuring cops Riggs and Morta. Justin. Yeah. What is Lethal Weapon? Oh, baby. Yeah. Uh, let's keep yeah. this going. Let's keep this one going. All right. Much of this film with Robert Redford as Roy Hobbs was filmed at Buffalo's War Memorial Stadium because of its old timey feel. Hmm. Hmm. It's a baseball movie. Baseball. The yeah. natural. Oh, did, don't know the natural. It. natural. Uh, keep it going, please. Okay. Oh shit! Oh. Wager it all. I'm gonna go one thousand. Oh, hell oh, yeah. Oh, spicy. It's, it's not. It's ensemble cast include William Hurt, Kevin Klein, Glenn Close, and Meg Tilly. I know all of these actors. Oh. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not, I wouldn't be sure of my answer. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head. No, no guesses? Uh, what is network? I don't know. Um, wrong. It is the big chill. Well, I haven't seen that movie. I want to though. I, I think I'd have marked me wrong. Ah, uh, yes. All right, let's try to earn some money back with two thousand. Okay. Any way you slice it, Julia Roberts served up a fine performance early in her career as waitress Daisy in this nineteen eighty-eight film. Nope. No, don't. Mystic Pizza. Oh. oh. Oh, Ooh. god damn. Yeah, all right. That's all right, let's do chicken nuggets for 800, please. 
Bye. 1964, he had more than 600 franchises of his Kentucky Fried Chicken restaurants. Ah. Nathan. Who is Colonel Sanders? Yes. Harlan Sanders. Uh, chicken nuggets for 1200 please. A chicken's eggshell is primarily made of this compound, CaCO3. Justin. Uh, what is calcium tricarbonate? No. Dang. Tyler. What is calcium? No. You guys are very close. Mike. What is calcium carbonate? Yes. Nice. Yeah, it was just the try that I think Justin had wrong. There. I did. I added that it's been a long time since I've had to think about ke uh, ke uh, chemistry. Yeah, yeah, same here. I made mistakes. It ha it I was confused by Justin's answer. That's why I was hesitating. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike. Take oh. us on an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. History for 400. That's not an adventure. The weapon known as the long, this... What the, known as the Long This played a decisive role in the 1346 Battle of Cressy. Uh, Tyler. What is a long pole? Say that again. A long pole? P O L E? Wrong. Mm. If it's long sword, I'm going to be mad. Long, long bow. bow. Long bow. bow. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right, I was Mike. thinking melee. I saw chat answer, uh, so I couldn't answer it myself. Mm -hmm. uh, history for 800. Daily Double! Go, Mike, Yay. go! Alright. Nice. All right. One of Russia's foremost reformers, he was proclaimed Imperator in 1721. I have no idea. Rasputin? Oh, I fucking <laughs> wish, man. Wrong. <laughs> right? Way too early. Yeah, I know. It was a couple hundred years thinking. later. No, but the I know. thing Who is, when it? you hear Russia, you should think of Rasputin first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who was it? Uh, Peter the Great. Or Peter the First. Peter the Great. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> All right, Mike. Oh, yeah, it's still me. Um... Poets and Poetry, Adventure 400. Adventure! William Blake said this little animal was woolly bright. Justin. Uh, what is a sheep? Um. No. Wow. Mike. What is a lamb? Yes. Whoa, we're not even going to go to the judges on that? I was going hard. I was on the fence. I made a call. Well, because it, it's... Yeah. No, no, I, I'm with you, Mitchell. I'm with you. All right. Yeah, let's do 800. Okay. Heibun is a Japanese literary style that combines prose and this three-line poetic form. Oh. Justin. What is a haiku? Yes. Sorry, can you form your answer in the form of a haiku? <laughs> haiku. <laughs> <laughs> what is a haiku? I am mad about the lamb... <laughs> but I'll get over it. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, let's do disinformation for... Actually, you know what? Let's go to True uh, Vacation. Antarctica 2000. What? Oh. Species of penguin in the Antarctic region include this one, named for the black stripe below its beak. Mike. What is the emperor penguin? No. Oh. I used to know this. I don't anymore. A chin, chin strap. strap. Oh, that's so funny. All right, now let's take a less expensive vacation and go Antarctica for 400, please. Yeah. <laughs> As with tree rings, glaciologists oh, examine long cylinders of ice called these oh. to explore layers of Antarctica's oh. history. Oh. Ah. Megan. What are cores? Yes. Nice. Yeah. Sweet. I didn't know um, that was a 2000 question. I wouldn't have answered it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Justin. Hey, Blue Sapphire. Just Let's just do bamboozled you. Disinformation yeah. for four hundred. All right. Expelled from the legal profession like Alger Hiss in nineteen fifty two. Justin. What is disbarred? 
Yes. Let's go disinformation mm. for 800. People pay good money for this type of jeans that come already torn up. Nathan. <sighs> what are distressed jeans? Yes. Um, disinformation for 12. It's a list of musical recordings by a performer or composer. Mm. Fuck. Nathan. What is a discography? Yes. Uh, disinformation for 1600. You can tour Jameson's original one of these on Bow Street in Dublin. Damn it. Mm. What is a distillery? I've yes. driven past that one too. Nice. nice. I've been to that, that was a good one. one. <laughs> All right, Tyler. Uh, chicken nuggets there. for 16. It's really good. In 2001, Member of Parliament Robin Cook proclaimed this Indian British chicken preparation to be a UK national dish. Fuck! Nathan. What is butter chicken? No. Really? Oh! No. Yes! I don't know. <laughs> is it that? Chicken oh, chicken oh, skull! It's the same oh, thing! No, it's that's not. Yeah. Okay. It's more or less the same thing. <laughs> more or less the same thing. I got dinged for sheep v lamb. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> chicken for 2,000. All right. Definitely not the same thing. One has tomato sauce, the other doesn't. <laughs> a domesticated fowl of Southeast Asia may be the ancestor of this official state bird of Rhode Island. Uh, you guys are letting me down. Red hen, of course. Of course. <laughs> <Obviously>. <laughs> oh, it's it's a red hen, of course. All right, Tyler. Uh, Antarctica for 800. A 1959 treaty signed by 12 nations made Antarctica one of these regions a DMZ. Department of Motor Zealots? I know TMZ. No, I, I, know, I know what it is, but I don't remember what it's called. Oh, it, yeah. is, oh it's, it was asking for the definition. Oh. I was thinking like a okay. neutral zone. Oh. I, I didn't realize it. I knew the abbreviation. I just didn't know that's what it was asking <laughs> for. Uh, okay, Antarctica. An tricky tricky question. Yeah. In 1773, this British captain crossed the Antarctic Circle ice pack, kept his ship from reaching the continent. Oh, 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 James would know. I said his name in all. Oh, yeah. All right, All right, Antarctica 16. Get rid of it. Uh, wrong, Tyler. Um, I am stuck in hell. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> it's, it's, right here. It's, it's right here. It's right here. Demilitarized zone. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Plankton and these shrimp like crustaceans that can gather in vast swarms are essential to the food chain in Antarctic waters. Megan. What are krill? Oh, yes, oh, they are. Yeah. Krill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was krill. Fuck. Um. I don't like any of these. Let's do disinformation for 12 hits. <laughs> Words are hard. <laughs> the feline type of this disease is highly contagious, but often curable. Tyler. What is rabies? Wrong. Dis. No, so dis. Oh, dis raw. Wrong category. What is dis rabies? Dis rabies. <laughs> dis oh, temper. Temper. Oh, okay. Yep. Dang. Catch up All right, Megan. Oh, it's still me. Uh, the mm, po poetry for twelve hundred. <laughs> this company hired poet Marianne Moore to name a new car, and she came up with some gems like Utopian Turtle Top. They went with Edsel. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, Tyler. oh, Tyler. What is Ford? Oh, yes, it is. What? Yes. Oh. Wow. Ford Edsel sounded familiar for some reason. Nice, nice. nice because job. you Googled it. No, I'm not, I did not. I legit did not. I Googled it. I wish it. I could Google that. Tyler's no cheater. Tyler's no cheater. I couldn't live with myself if I cheated. All right, Tyler, the board's <laughs> yours. Uh, history for 12. This writing system arose in Mesopotamia in the 4th millennium BC and disappeared early in the 1st millennium AD. Nathan. What is linear A? No. Damn it. It's a good guess. It sounds smart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, cuneiform. cuneiform. Damn it. That was before mm -hmm. linear A. Nope. Uh, history yes. 16. <laughs> Military mortality declined after the 1896 introduction of a vaccine for this fever, which was spread by unsanitary conditions. 
Oh, ooh, Tyler. What is Scarlet Fever? No. Mm, good guess, though. Very good guess. Yep. But Tyler Lightweight was the other one. Uh, history to, for 2000. After surrendering, surrendering the throne in 1667 to his brother, King Alfonso uh, VI of Portugal mm -hmm. was banished to these Atlantic islands. Tyler. What are the Canary Islands? No. no. Oh, oh my, what are the Fal Faulkner Islands? I think oh. Fal Falk. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, I don't know. That was a good guess. I know both of you. Port Portugal's been all over those islands before. Oh. Azores. I don't Azores. even know what those are. They're no islands. one does. Chat's killing us. <laughs> no killing one it. does. All right, Tyler. All right, 16. A pioneer imagist, he spent 1946 to 1958 in St. Elizabeth's Psychiatric Hospital, future home of John Hinckley. No idea. Ezra, Ezra Pound. Pound. Oh! I know who that is. He pounds. He pounds. I didn't know that about him. Fittingly, the epitaph on Oscar Wilde's grave contains a quote from his last work, This Ballad. I feel like I should know this, but I do not. The Ballad of Reading Gale. <laughs> Gale. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let's go to Final Jeopardy. Oh, I'm God. not in this. All right. So nope. only Megan and I get a play. Landlocked countries. I'm going to wager $100. <laughs> oh, landlocked. I'm going to wager minus $400. Yeah. I, 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 I know, Mike. I, I know. Um, but you can't. I mean, you actually, I think you can I, wager. So do it. Oh. I, I can't afford that no, you wager. Can't. Yeah. You can't, just as you can't, can't afford. Yeah. You still got a wager, I think. Oh, okay. I think we're. You wagered zero. zero. Yeah, you have yeah. to wager. You put it in. Wager zero. Okay, we're all in. So let's show the final question. Losing its ocean access in 1993, this African Union member is the most populous landlocked nation with 110 million people. Oh, and I... hmm. <sighs> what the heck just happened? Shit. Um, hitting buttons. Ocean access, 1993. I like that the song just started over again. This is the most populous, landlocked nation. The 110 million people. It might be Canada. It might be. <laughs> I didn't realize we were part of Africa. We are. We are the Bing Africa bong. of North America. Okay. Uh, what? we're all in, and everyone's wrong. Yeah. It, the answer is Ethiopia. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So, mm. that makes sense. Makes sense. Justin had a good guess of Sudan. Uh, Megan guessed Zimbabwe. And, uh, Mike guessed Jororo Riga. Yeah. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, I guess, so, final scores, uh... Tyler at third, negative 3,200, Mike had negative 300, Nathan negative 400, Megan zero, and oh, me with 2,900. Guys, I'm broke with negative 300. Honestly, I'm, with that. I'm just bummed that I Cheap. didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't bring it for the movie category this week. Mm. It's embarrassing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm upset because when it said that the language was lost, I assumed like permanently lost, whereas we can kind of figure out what cuneiform says, but we don't know what linear A is at all. I can actually read cuneiform perfectly. Yeah. Oh, wow. All right. Yeah. And he's taught me now, so it's the two of us. We oh, keep it going. But we agreed to never teach anyone else. <laughs> yeah. What if I like, what if I like, you know, blow you under the table? No, Whoa. we only over the table or nothing. Yeah, mission <laughs> only <laughs> give blowjobs <laughs> above <laughs> table here and only to each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, see you guys next week. We're in Jeopardy.